Hey YouTube, it's me Nikki Z. I am here to do a tutorial featuring the Naked Basics palette, of course, as well as a glitter eyeshadow from e.l.f. and this is in Cowgirl, which is beautiful, uh, just to give you guys an idea. It is very, very pretty. Um, so yes, I will be using this with that palette and a few other items just to kind of get a really pretty nude look with a little teeny tiny bit of shimmer. So this is perfect for day. Um, I really, really like this look. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into this as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already primed my eyelid with the e.l.f. glitter primer and I applied it all the way up to my brow bone and I've let that dry. Now my next step is to take Ramel London Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick in Witness White, and I will be applying this product all over my eye, so it's going to be all over and in the inner corner. This is going to help the eyeshadow adhere even more so than with the primer alone. It's going to make it just a little bit more vibrant, and it's going to add a small amount of shimmer. So, like so, I'm going to go ahead and take my Naked Basics palette, and I'm going to use, I'm going to use Foxy right here, all over my entire eyelid. So grab some of that product and pat that on. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take Naked 2, which is a really nice beige shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply that product on my crease, and blend it upwards and outwards. Like so. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Faint which is right next to the black shade. It is a more medium brown. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Sorry, medium beige. I'm going to apply that to the outer V of my eye. So just in the outer crease as well as on the outer lid or the outer third of my eyelid. Now what I'm going to do is blend this out a bit with a blending brush. Now as you can see, it's very neutral, but I want a little bit more of a pop, a little bit more definition. So that's where I'm actually going to take the e.l.f. Glitter Eyeshadow in Cowgirl, and I'm going to apply this product to, again, the outer V of my eyelid. like so. Now this is actually a very beautiful shade to pair with the Naked Basics. It really, really is, um, which is why I picked it. And I do apologize, my hair is like doing something and who knows what it's doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more of that shade onto my eyelid. And I'm going to blend it with a blending brush. Seriously, it complements that palette so well. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and take Venus in the Naked Basics, which is a shimmery highlighting shade. And I will be applying this, of course, to my brow bone area and the inner corner of my eye. What that is going to do, guys, is it's actually going to make whatever eye color you have pop. And that's why we went ahead and applied the Ramel Scandalize witness white into the inner corner because it's going to help as an adhesive for that light shade. So I'm just going to pop it there and apply it to the rest of the brow bone area, kind of blend it a bit. 
like so. Very neutral, very, very pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the look real quick. And I will be using an eyeliner, and this is by Lorac, and it is a, like a muted matte gray shade. So it's, I do have swatches all over my hands, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yes, it is a muted gray shade, just to show you guys. Just pretty gray, no sparkle whatsoever. I'm actually going to apply this just to the outer half of my upper lash line. I will be smudging this in. It's just going to help with my eye shape. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take a little brush to smudge that with. like so. And now I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> pardon me, and take an Urban Decay eyeliner, and this is in Gunmetal, which is a silvery, shimmery gray. And I'm going to apply this shade to underneath my lash line on my lower lid areas, like so and on my waterline. And what this is going to do is kind of give this neutral look kind of a smoky effect. And since we used um, a shimmery highlight as well as a little bit of sparkle on the outer V, just underneath the eye, this is going to help bring that whole look together. Um, so what I'm going to do is take a brush to kind of smudge the bottom color with. Make sure it connects to the top. Awesome. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is prime my lashes using the e.l.f. mascara primer. So let me go ahead and get that on real quick. Now I'm going to let this dry really fast. While that is drying, I have taken the Lorac tie-dye, sorry, tie-dye for gloss um, in Social Mixer, which is a beautiful pink, and I went ahead and applied that to my lips, like so. And for the cheeks, what I have used was Max Personal Style. It's a really pretty, there's actually really no shimmer in it, um, but it's a very, very nice muted rosy pink. It's almost my skin tone, but it's a little bit darker. So I wanted to keep everything kind of muted, kind of light, so that the eyes and the lips pop instead of the whole face bobbing and being like, you know, hey, I'm a sparkle fest, look at me. So that's what I've done. Now, when my mascara primer has dried, I'm applying the Ramel London Lash Accelerator Endless Grow, sorry, Endless Grow Lash Complex Plus Fibers Mascara. And I have reviewed this from Influencer. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my eyelashes. Now the one thing I really like about this mascara, and it's actually a downfall as well, um, it makes me look like I am wearing false lashes which I'm not a huge fan of. However, it is dramatic and it's perfect for some looks. And then of course, I'd rather just have like a natural eyelash look with others. Um, so it really is your preference. But that is my look. Pretty basic. Um, yeah, naked basics. 
e.l.f. glitter eyeshadow in cowgirl which is very very pretty and it helps make the I guess it would it what shade is it hang on faint it makes faint pop from that palette um Rimmel scandalize I stick in witness white mascara primer mascara matte gray eyeliner and sparkle gray or sparkle silver eyeliner and that's basically all you guys need um so of course you guys can recreate this look with any similar shade if you have it um it's very fun kind of flirty kind of simple and basic i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial as always if you guys did you guys could always subscribe because that'd be really fun and awesome if you did as well as um you know, sweet, because you'd be getting upgrades, or sorry, upgrades, <laughs> you're gonna get upgrades of my blog, no, you're gonna get updates to my blog, um, which is all about your eyes, lips, face, .blogspot.com, I worked six days this week, it's been a crazy week, so I'm a little tongue-tied, and I do apologize, thank you guys again for watching, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, until next time.